Hey guys, it's Ami and more. It's been a while since I've done a Pokemon Ami Gurumi, so in this crochet tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make Butterfree. Here he is. He has all his features, including his antennas, his red eyes, he has cute little feet and arms, and the best part about him is his wonderful wings. You can make him um, with his partner, Pink Butterfree. And you can even make a yellow scarf for him, just like in his episode Goodbye Butterfree, where he has a yellow scarf. And all you have to do is tie it together right here. And he becomes all accessorized. And you can also make him with the Pokeball set. And I have the tutorial on my blog channel as well. So be sure to check that one out. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Here are the materials you'll need. For round one for the body, we are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring with purple yarn. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to close your ring and then we're going to use a stitch marker and I just like to use a bobby pin and for round two we are just going to do two in each stitch all the way around so you should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end so in this very first stitch right here I'm going to do one and into the very same stitch I'm going to do my second single crochet stitch and I'm going to do two here as well. So that's one and two. Okay, we're going to continue all the way around. That's one and two. One and two. And our very last stitch, I'm going to do one and two. And now we should have 12 single crochet stitches all the way around. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches. So in this very first stitch here, I'm going to do one and same stitch. That's two. And then just one right here. Okay, two here, one, and two, and then just one. Okay, we're going to repeat all the way around. That's one, and two, and one. One, and two, next stitch, just one. Okay, one, and two and then just one and our last pattern here one and two and then just one in our very last stitch right here and we should have 18 single crochet stitches all the way around now for rounds four through six, we are just going to stay at 18. So it's just one in each single crochet stitch all the way around. So just go ahead and do one in each stitch. And you'll want to keep doing this until round six. And I will meet you at the end of round six. Now this is how it should look like after round six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now for round seven, we are going to go ahead and decrease and our pattern is going to be a decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet stitch 
all the way around and we should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So to do a decrease, I'm just going to insert hook, come back out, go into my next stitch, insert a hook and come back out. I should have three stitches, yarn over and come back out through all three. And I just did my decrease right there. Next stitch is just a single crochet stitch. Okay, I'm going to repeat the pattern again, decrease. And then a single crochet stitch here. Okay, and I'm going to repeat that same pattern all the way around. Now for round eight, we are just going to decrease all the way around. So at the end, you'll have six stitches. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and decrease all the way around and you should do six decreases at the end. So that's one. And that's my second decrease right here. My third decrease right here. Fourth decrease right here. Fifth decrease right here. And my sixth decrease right here. Okay, so now I should have six stitches all day around. And so far this is going to be the head of Butterfree. And then we're going to continue to work on the body now. For round nine, my pattern is going to be an increase. So two, one, one, two, one, one. And I should have eight single crochet stitches at the end. So here I'm going to do one and two and then just one and one. Okay, I'm going to do two here again. One and two and then one and one right here. Now I should have eight single crochet stitches. For round 10, my pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, repeat all the way around and I should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So in this stitch right here, I'm going to do one and same stitch, two. And then next stitch, it's just one. Here's going to be two, one, and two, and then just one. One and two, and one. And my last set right here, one and two, and then just one in my very last stitch. And now I should have 12 single crochet stitches all the way around. Now for rounds 11 through 13, we are just going to stay at 12 single crochet stitches. So it's just going to be one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round 13. Now for round 14, our very last round, we are just going to Decrease all the way around and then we should have six single crochet stitches at the end. So I'm going to do one decrease, two, three, four, five, and my last decrease right here, six. So I should have six stitches all the way around now. And then I'm just going to cut off a long tail and fasten off. Okay, and here is our body completed for Butterfree. Now for the leg with a blue or turquoise colored yarn, you are going to do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's going to be one, two, three and four and you can go ahead and close 
And then we're just going to use our stitch marker to mark the end of our round right there. And now for rounds two to three, we are just going to stay at four single crochet stitches. So it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round three. And here is how your leg should look like after three rounds and it's just four stitches in all three rounds. Go ahead and make two. Now for the arm, you are going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And then we are going to chain two, that's one and two. And then we're going to our previous chain and do a slip stitch. And then we are going to cut off the long tail and fasten off. And this is your little arm completed and you'll want to make two. For the nose with blue yarn, you are going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And you are going to chain three. That's one, two, and three. And then we're just going to slip stitch back the two chains. So that's one and that is two. And we're going to cut off the long tail and fasten off. Okay, and here is our little nose completed. For the eye with red yarn, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay, you can go ahead and close your ring. And then in the next stitch, we are going to do two single crochet stitches. So here's my very first stitch right here. I'm going to do one. And in the same stitch, I'm going to do my second stitch right here. And then in my next stitch right here, I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then I can cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here, and here is my eye completed and you'll want to make two. For the antenna with black yarn, you are going to do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that is one, two, three, and four. Okay, you're going to close your loop. And then we are going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the next stitch right here. Okay, and then chain three. So that's one, two, and three. And then we're gonna slip stitch back two. So that's one slip stitch. And then my next chain, I'm going to do another slip stitch right here. And then into um, the the circle right here, I am going to go ahead and do a slip stitch back. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut off a long tail. Okay, and I should have a little antenna created. Now for the wing number one with white yarn, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we can close our loop and use our stitch marker. Now for round two, it's just going to be two in each stitch all the way around. So you should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. Okay, so this is going to be one and two. Next one is also one and two and go ahead and repeat that all the way around. So you should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. 
Now for round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, repeat all the way around and you should have 18 single crochet stitches at the end. So that's two here and then just one. Okay, repeat again, two here and then just one and continue to repeat all the way around. Now for rounds four through seven, we are just going to stay at 18 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round seven. So this is how our wing looks like after seven rounds. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and flatten my um, wing where sort of where my hook is starting there and then in this stitch I want to show it so it's shut so I'm going to do two half double crochet so I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to insert through both layers here and then I'm going to go through here yarn over and come back out yarn over and come out through all three I just did my first I want to do another one half double crochet stitch. Okay, so I did two half double crochet stitches here. And now for the rest of the stitches right here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to do half double crochet stitch across. So that's one, and that's two, and that's three, four, five, and six. And then into this last stitch right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch right there. With my black yarn, I'm gonna go ahead and make a slip knot, not to prepare it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go on to my wing and I want to make a single crochet border with black so I'm going to go ahead and fasten on. I'm going to go ahead and fasten on and I'll just go ahead and do a single crochet stitch right here and then I'm just going to go through the stitches and then it doesn't really matter where you really poke your needle in but you just want to go ahead and do a single crochet stitch border all the way around. Slip stitch at the very end right there. And then for this one, you'll want to leave a super long tail because we want to use this tail as our embroidery. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Okay, so now I have a super long tail and I'm ready to do my embroidery.
Now for wing number two, you are just going to go ahead and do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and close your circle. And then now for rounds two through four, we are just going to stay at six single crochet stitch. So that's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. So that's one in each stitch all the way around. And you'll want to do that four until round four. So just go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end of round four. Okay, now at the end of my round four, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a color change and I'm going to change to my black yarn. Okay, so I'm going to do a single crochet stitch, but then I'm just going to do a color change to black and pull through for the very last stitch here. Okay, and I can cut off my white yarn. So here I'm going to go ahead and sew the top close. So that's one, two, and then you're going to go through this both the layers here as well. And then like the other one, I'm going to go ahead and do a black single crochet stitch border all the way around. And then for this one, I just want to do two lines. So I'm going to go up here. And then the opposite side, I'm going to come back down so it mirrors right here. Okay, so that way I have this and the same one here. Then I'm going to go over to the other side right here. And then I'm going to go up to the same stitch right here. And then the back side. I'm going to go ahead and make it go down to that same spot right there. Okay, so that way the, both the front and the back are pretty similar and then I can go ahead and fasten off and then I'll want to actually maybe go back here so it's ready to sew on and you'll want to make two for a butterfree scarf you are going to get yellow yarn and then you are going to chain 21. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then you're just going to slip stitch back all the way so that you have 20 slip stitches at the end. So go ahead and slip stitch all the way back. And then you are going to cut a short tail and fasten off. And then here is Butterfree Scarf. And then you'll want to weave in the ends.
videos are finished but free thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe so you catch all my latest tutorials i will catch you next time bye for now